Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am back to share with you guys a project that I completed a couple days ago. Um, first, I want to share with you guys what I actually used to create it. Um, I used some of this trim, Merchant 41. It's a baby pink elastic trim from Hobby Lobby. I got it on sale for $1.50. I also used some glitter um, heat vinyl and what I did was I just ironed that onto some felt so that I can use it for my projects. I also used these tags um, from Alina Crafts on AliExpress. I used this baby booty um, uh, die from Alina Crafts as well as one of my favorite new stamp sets from Alina Crafts as well. I use these corners from a seller on AliExpress. I can't really remember who. As well as these hearts and I just used the smaller heart which is this one right here and these came from AliExpress. Um, I use this bow die set that I have and it's a three piece or six piece die set and it makes three different size bows. Those were from AliExpress, and then these were from Paper Tray Ink, and I picked this up probably about three or four years ago, and this is the Baby Booty die, and it makes all kind of different configurations of the Baby Booty, which is awesome, especially when you're going to like baby showers or something like that, and you want to create a handmade um, gift for um, the new mom. So without further ado, let me share with you guys what I created. So I made this box, especially for my little baby booties. And this box was made on my We Are Memory Keepers um, cut and scoreboard. And once you figure out the uh, measurements, it's really easy to create. So just a simple box. And I use those corners on the box. And these are like the little scallop corners. Um, I used some tool from Hobby Lobby. This is the sparkly tool with the glitter in it. And I also used a little bit of pink twine as well as this really pretty little flower that I got from Erica who is Scrap Diva 29 here on YouTube. Um, this is where I used my little tag right here and I just stamped Made With Love out of that stamp set. And these are the little baby booties that I made um, using the dye from Elena Crafts. And one um, little tip, if you want to make something dimensional and you don't have a lot of space to put foam, then um, unless you want to cut like little bitty strips of foam, what you can do is you just run your hot glue gun around wherever you want it to be dimensional. Let it dry. So don't stick it on your project. Let it dry first and then use glossy accents on the back of the hot glue when you're ready to put it down and then use the glossy accents as the adhesion instead of using the hot glue if that makes sense but i put that on there i thought it came out super cute so i'm just going to go ahead and open it up and share with you guys the little gift that i created so i used some pink tissue paper and let me show you what i made i was so excited and this is going to be for my new little grandbaby and I made this little um, headband and I used the hearts from that die set that I just shared with you guys as well as a bow and I put that on top I love the way it came out I also used the baby pink um, elastic and guys I haven't had a baby in forever so I'm hoping that this is large enough for her but if not I'll have to remake it and make it a little bit bigger but that's okay I just love the way this came out so that is the headband and then let me share with you guys the little booties I love these little booties guys oh my gosh I was so pleased at the way that these came out because I knew I wanted them to make them sparkly. I couldn't find any sparkle felt. So I started brainstorming and trying to figure out, okay, how do I make these felt booties with sparkle felt? And so that's when I came up with the idea to take the heat vinyl and iron it onto my felt and then cut that out with my dye and it wasn't easy i had to keep running it through a couple times i had to use a precision plate because that dye i mean it has a bunch of little sewing holes if you can see that and you want those sewing holes to be in the felt so that it's easier for you to go through with your needle and your thread because you're hand sewing these booties together um, to put this dye together so 
it was a little a little time consuming but I still love the way they came out and the only reason why it was more time consuming is because of the the vinyl you know because of this um, material that I put on top of the felt but otherwise when I just use just regular felt it cuts out fine and so I used the bow from AliExpress and I put that on top this part right here this like a little bit of a scallop trim here on the top that is another part inside of the die set that you can use to decorate your booty as I said before there's a lot of different pieces in here for you to use and it's that piece right there um that you can make this booty i mean you can make them boy booties you can make them loafers it's so cute guys i love this dye and i love to use it especially for baby showers and stuff like that and now that we're going to have our first baby girl or grandbaby girl um i thought that it was only fitting for me to, for me to make her a pair of little sparkly shoes so i love the way they came out i use pink crochet thread to sew all the way around this is the bottom you can even put patches on the bottom if you want um, I saw someone um, do a word on the bottom which was super cute and I may have to try that soon but this is the way my little booties came out and I love them so that is about it guys um, as always guys if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below and I'll try to get back with you as soon as I possibly can I will be back with more projects. I have a lot of little projects that I've been working on. And um, I want to come back and share those with you guys as soon as I can. So if you have any questions or comments, again, leave them down below. And I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.